Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm your host, Binary Mouse. And we have another truly fantastic story to share with you. Our special guest storyteller will carry us beyond the edge of our imagination into a digital fantasy land built especially for you. Watch, listen, and enjoy! Didn't the fox never catch the rabbit, Uncle Remus? asked the little boy the next evening. He come mighty nigh it, honey. Shows you born. Brer Fox did. One day, out of Brer Rabbit fooled him with that calamus root. Brer Fox went to work and got him some tar and mix it with some turpentine. He fix up a contraption what he call a tar baby. And he took this year tar baby and he sought her in the big road, and then he lay off in the bushes fur to see what the news was going to be. And he didn't have to wait long, neither, cause by and by, here comes Br'er Rabbit basin down the road, lippity-clippity, clippity-lippity, just as sassy as a jaybird. Br'er Fox, he lay low. Br'er Rabbit come prancing long twill he spied a tar baby, and then he fotch up on his behind legs like he was astonished. The tar baby, she saw tar, she did. And Br'er Fox, he lay low. Morning, says Br'er Rabbit, says he. Nice weather this morning, says he. Tar baby, she ain't saying nothing. Br'er Fox, he lay low. How does your symptoms seem to segishwate, says Br'er Rabbit, says he. Brer Fox, he wink his eyes slow and lay low, and the tar baby, she ain't saying nothing. How you come on, then? Is you deaf? Says Brer Rabbit. Says he. Cause if you is, I can holler louder. Says he. Tar baby, stay still, and Brer Fox, he lay low. You're stuck up. That's what you is says Br'er Rabbit, says he. And I'm going to cure you, that's what I'm going to do, says he. Br'er Fox, he sort of chuckle in his stomach, he did. The tar baby ain't saying nothing. I'm going to learn you to talk to respectable folks if it's the last act, says Br'er Rabbit, says he. If you don't take off that hat and tell me howdy, I'm going to bust you wide open, says he. Tar baby stay still, and Br'er Fox, he lay low. Br'er Rabbit kept on axing him, and the Tar Baby, she keep on saying nothing. But presently, Br'er Rabbit draw back with his fist, he did, and blip, he took her side of the head. Right there's where he broke his molasses jug. His fist stuck, and he can't pull loose. The Tar hilt him. But Tar Baby, she stay still, and Br'er Fox, he lay low. If and you don't let me loose, I'll knock you again, says Br'er Rabbit, says he. And with that, he fought her a wipe with the other hand, and that one stuck. Tar Baby, she still ain't saying nothing. Br'er Fox, he lay low. Turn me loose, for I kick the natural stuffing out of you, says Br'er Rabbit, says he. But the Tar Baby, 
she ain't sayin' nothin'. She just hilt on, and de Brer Rabbit lose de use of his feet in de same way. Brer Fox, he lay low. Then Brer Rabbit squall out dat if de tar baby don't turn him loose, he'd butt her crank-sided. And then he butted, and his head got stuck. Then Brer Fox, he sauntered forth, looking just as innocent as one of your mammy's mockingbirds. Howdy, Brer Rabbit, says Brer Fox, says he. You look sort of stuck up this morning, <laughs> says he. And then he rolled on the ground and laughed and laughed till he couldn't laugh no more. I spect you'll take dinner with me this time, Brer Rabbit. I done laid in some calamus root, and I ain't going to take no excuse, says Brer Fox, says he. Here Uncle Remus paused and drew a two-pound yam out of the ashes. Did the fox eat the rabbit? asked the little boy to whom the story had been told. Oh, that's all the fur the tale goes, replied the old man. He might, and then he mightn't. Some say Judge Barr come along and loosed them. Some say he didn't. I hear Miss Sally calling. You better run long. 